Hello, welcome Mrs. McConnell's class. I am so glad you're here. Now about one week ago, we had an introduction and I got to see everything you know about simple machines. So let's get right into our learning. Today, we will discuss what we already know about simple machines. So we will review some of the things that you shared. And then we are going to investigate the meaning of the terms force, motion, and work. Now, you might know these words, so let's go ahead. Our objective today, scientists will explore the concepts of force and motion and how they relate to work. And you're probably thinking, huh? Because I know for a second when I reread that, I thought, what? But for now, I want you to trust me. We got this, you are scientists, and by the end of this lesson, you are going to be talking about force and motion and work in your sleep. So let's see what you already know. When I looked over some of your responses, these are the things you already knew about. You knew about kinetic energy. You knew that that meant that it was movement. Someone knew about wedge and lever, and that those are simple machines, wow. I couldn't believe that people knew that we use simple machines to build things. We know about the wheel and axle. We know about Rube Goldberg machines. You might have already seen that on our spring break challenge. And we know about pulleys and inclined planes. But the most important thing of all for you to know, and someone said this, is that simple machines make work easier. I want you to repeat that right now. Simple machines make work. I'm going to trust that you said it, okay? I'm just going to trust you. So remember those toys that I found? I noticed that you had some really great advice on the things that I could do with them. Why don't we just look at some of your responses together? So when I was reading your advice, I took some notes. I said, okay, here are some words that stood out to me. Someone said, well, you have to stretch it for it to work. I thought, okay, stretch it. Someone said, okay, just throw it. Just throw it. Okay, that seems simple. That makes, that's, that should work. Yeah. Okay, you have to spin it. You have to spin it for it to be fun. Okay. And someone said, pull. You just pull it. So I read through all of the advice and you know what, when I tried it, I just, maybe I'm just not good at this. So I decided to take it upon myself to understand. I found two toys. I found this Frisbee and this tennis ball. And I am determined to find out what these toys are good for, why they're fun. Why do people buy these? Because when I just put it down, doesn't do anything. So take a look at how this went. Excuse me? Yeah. Can you tell me what to do with this? Someone said that this is a fun toy, but I don't know if it doesn't do anything. What do you mean? You just throw it. Throw it. <laughs> like that? No, no, no. Bring your arm back and flick your wrist. Oh. Like that? Yeah. Hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. Someone gave these to me and they said that they're a lot of fun, but they don't do anything. Like when I... That's not a fun toy. What do you do with these? You throw them. Or you can bounce them. What do you mean bounce? Just throw it. Like just... Just throw it. Bring your arm back and throw it. Move it forward. <sighs> there like you that? go. Yeah. Now bounce the last one, just... bring your arm back and throw it down towards the ground. Like this? Yes. Like I'm pushing it down? Yep, and then let go. <gasps> oh, thank you! So after my little experiment, I sat back and I thought about all of the things that I've learned from your advice, stretch, throw, spin, pull, and from the advice from the people on my little experiment where they said, put your leg forward, twist your arm, flick your wrist throw something, pull your arm back. And all of those feel like a push or a pull. When you stretch something, you're pulling it, right? When you throw, you're pushing your arm forward. When you're spinning something, you're pushing it in a direction, right? 
all of that is pushing or pulling. And then I thought, right. Do you know the word for any push or pull? If you didn't, this is one of the most important words for our entire unit. A force is a push or a pull. So all of those toys that you gave me advice on, plus the frisbee and the tennis balls, they needed force. They needed something to happen to them. They needed someone to twist it, throw it, pull it. So all of this came down to a force. Oh. I'm pushing it down? Yep, and then let go. But it wasn't just the force. The fun of throwing the tennis ball wasn't just the actual releasing of it, right? It's watching it move and actually having a catch with somebody or hitting it back and forth. So the force is the push or pull, and then we also have the motion, which is when the object is moving. So for the frisbee and for the tennis ball, it was when it was in the air. When you think about something like a top or a spinner or a slinky, it's when you are spinning it and it's going in circles, or the slinky when it's being stretched. So you are putting a force on it, which causes it to go into motion. Oh. So, all of this comes down to force and motion, which is actually the name for our Simple Machines unit. So, let's go ahead and wrap this all up and get into our work. Just to sum things up, a force is a push or pull, and motion is the movement of an object.